family, we're back. Family, they are our family. What's up, you guys? Welcome home to Nashville. We're back in Nashville. So, so glad. We're so glad to be back. We're so glad to be back. We've been gone for so super long this month. We've been gone almost 20 days now. Our and bodies are all out of funk. Oh my gosh. All, all, oh. all out of whack. All out of whack. We are just like rumbling and tumbling. Yeah, so we're happy to be home where it's Memorial Day and we're driving around. Yeah. Be, be, trying to find some brunch. Being gone for as long as we were, it really makes you appreciate it. It really made us appreciate Nashville and, and home. Totally. Like we said that in Paris and then being gone again for another like week and a half in California. We're just like glad to be back. Oh my god. Yeah. Like, yeah. We missed it a lot. Yeah, I think we're getting to the point where travel, I mean, we love traveling, but mm -hmm. entering a phase or season of our life where we're kind of slowing down a little bit and we're, just like ready we're to really like appreciating just like our home and that like security and the um, consistency and foundation that like your home routine provides and yeah I think we're you know we're, ready we're turning to, a new leaf we're ready to get like our house in check we've been saying that for a while but like it's, we finally have like we want to do some projects on the house again as you guys know when we lived in Texas we did so many house projects and I think um, we kind of were a little burnt out after we got into this new Nashville house and it's super beautiful so we didn't really feel like we had to do that much but there's definitely things we want to do to it um, and now we kind of were like okay maybe it's time to kick off those projects. So. That and also we've been waiting on furniture to get here we didn't want to do too many changes without some of the new decor we've been waiting on for like eight months. Totally. Um, but yeah we're ready to get like back to decorating get our house projects going. We're just glad to be home. Like we can't say it enough. Like, we're glad to be here and like take care of things, take care of responsibilities, clean the house out. When we are in We're California, speaking this into existence so that we do it. Yeah. By the way. But it's also so, a big desire of ours. Like, it like, is. We're focused just so you on guys it. know we want to do it. And we uh when we were in California I was watching like stories of like people at F forty five in Nashville. I was like, oh I miss like our home gym and I, I did F45 one day in California, and it was great and all, but it's nothing like your home gym, seeing this. We same, did it two days. We did it one day people. together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know. It's nothing like your home gym, seeing it, all the familiar faces. It becomes kind of like a family when you start to see um, the same people every day when you go to work out, and there's just something, like, cozy about that, you know? Totally. Heartwarming and nice. Um, so yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's full on summer in Nashville. Hot, hot, hot. And yeah, it's like it's like 88 degrees. We it's slept in really late today till like 10 because we're now in California time, which is two hours behind. So we have to kind of like get our bodies back on. Two, two hours actually makes pretty big of a difference. Um, I think we fell asleep though at like midnight. Yeah, we did. No, and maybe even one. Or like one. one. So we like slept till like 10. Totally. So our bodies are so, our bodies are run down. They're run down. I mean, we've been pretty much did a lap around the world a little bit. Well, not around the world, like halfway around the world, but that and also, within like a couple weeks. I think we're feeling pretty hangry right now. Yeah, I think we're pretty hangry. So we're gonna go find some lunch. Yeah. And see what we get up to on this Sunday. Maybe we'll go home and clean the house and do some stuff. And, Let's do it. Yeah. Okay, we're at the food company. It's my first time trying the salad. It looks bomb, though. I'm actually really excited. I think you need one. And we got a little sandwich and soup, and Hunter got us out the two. One up a deep. Back in the Jeep. Back in the Jeep, heading to uh, go on a hike. We're going to Percy Warner. Percy Warner. It's a little bit later. I unpacked my bag from the trip. I sat on the sitting porch. She had some R R and R. And went through Pinterest. I actually want to redo the sitting porch, but do you know what? There is like no good inspiration for. I have a vision. Sitting porches. Like, everything looks exactly the same. It's like, 
I just wanted to get some a little bit of a different idea for the porch, but I have a man, vision. You do? Yeah. I mean, I do too in my head, but it's kind of like there's just not that much variety in outdoor furniture. Like you really have to. It's all kind of the same styles. So you know. The vision I have, I, I want it to be like green. I want fresh plants out there. A lot to, like, of plants and flowers, right? totally. I also want to re redo the actual porch itself, like the materials, and make it more like natural back there with the plants, yeah, the yeah, wood yeah. colors, definitely, all of that. More organic feeling. That, um, I, I like that light back there, but once you add, I don't know if it's, it, will it pull too bohemian when we have the plants and stuff back there? Yeah, I think it's the wrong way. We need, I want like a lantern. It needs to make a lantern vibe or multiple lanterns. Feel that. You feel it. Like a chain. I feel that. Mm -hmm. We need plants. We need vines. We need plants, vines, pillows. I want, um, it to, I want it to be like a meditation spot. That's exactly, because that's kind of what I use it for right now. I go out there when I need like some peace. I'll like listen to a podcast or I'll journal or I'll read. It's like the, the, the zen. Spot of the house, yeah. Yeah, we could even put like a little speaker back there. Kumbaya. You know. Yeah, that's why I was thinking. No TV. I think. It yeah, no TV for sure. No TV. It's a no tech zone. Okay, so renovations. What what are we talking here? What are, what what areas do you want to do on the house? I want to do the downstairs. The basement. Yeah. Like the workout room and the workout room, paint, bar. bar, like all of that. Yeah, that's my that's one of the top for me. Um, oh hi. I want to do the porch. Uh, I want to I do, want I want to do the, por the front porch project. Mhm. Mm in the garages, those mm -hmm. are all kind of one and the same for me. Mhm. Mm and I want um, as part of the front porch project, I want to extend our closet, make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, I want to do my like most immediate would be like the kitchen and the master bath. Like I want to like update that. In your office. In my office. We're gonna basically redo everything. Mm -mm. It's just like, they need enhancements. Yeah. You know, to make them a little more special. Um, I think. Not a lot of special going on right maybe now. Maybe you and I each take a couple projects and project manage it. Yeah. And just do it. I know. Or is it better for I us to both be on at the same time? Um, because we kind of do make a lot of the decisions together. Because I was, was going to say, like, I think you should start working on your office, too, if you want to add, like, paneling in there or paint it or do whatever you want to do. I know. Why do pools take so long? Pool? Like swimming pools? To put in. I don't know, but, like, oh, it would be really nice to have a pool, wouldn't it? Yeah. I was thinking that now that it's summer, well, I was like, the, you dang. Know, the, the, it's hot here. Couple the Texans to come over. Yeah. Their pool just got done. And I remember it was, they were starting, they started it like a lot back ago. Oh, it's been nice. like a long project. That would be really nice to have. Oh, the trees. That's wonderful. Maybe when we redo the porch, we make more of like, we also do like a, on the back porch, more of like a layout section where you can lay out with like teddy beds. Yeah. Like, as steps towards the pool. Because like when you're yeah. tan, you can still tan without a pool. You just don't think about it that way. But like we could put like a outdoor shower in the meantime. Totally. Like a little like splash. <clears throat> that would be cool. So you can lay out and like and have like, a platform with beds down. and stuff and then you like go to the shower and just like pull it and cool yourself off. Right. You need to do that. Anymore of this water, I'm gonna have to pee on. The I feel like we're about to get in uh, home mode, big time. Yeah. Like I, I'm like itching for projects. Me too. But I think I'm, I'm really, I really want to get the house like cleaned out first. Yeah. To like really have like a fresh start. Mm. Poker, it's 4:30, and you're gonna go and walk your lucky dog. You're such a lucky dog. Do you wanna go to uh, Super Rico tonight for dinner? I would. Too. Hopefully like it's for open. Memorial Day. I can see them. Being um, we were gonna go to the grocery store today, but we kind of got carried away doing other stuff. So maybe we'll go to the grocery store tomorrow. We could go tonight. Maybe we go to dinner. We never go to the grocery store after dinner. That's I probably the best time to go. To. But I'm saying go to dinner and then you're not hungry when you're at the grocery it's store. It's kind of a morning garage. Vibe. The grocery store is kind of a morning vibe. Well, how do you know? You've never been late. Because. <sighs> 
All right, folks. All right, folks. Catch you outside. How about that? Catch you outside in the woods. Nice way to ease back into it after a long trip. Yeah, we haven't worked out for days. It's gonna be a little rough. Oh, there's some deer up there. Right. Burger's gonna chase them. Burger gives up pretty easily. Yeah, he does. He's kind of like the little first sprint and then. Well, Come here. We just finished the hike. We did six okay. miles. Okay. Felt really good. Come Burger, on. get back, buddy. Get back. Get back. It's too much. We don't want to drool on us. It's kind of yeah, funny that it was... Noah did that too. I know. Like they're I like, know. they don't even know each other, but they have like the same tendencies. Totally. Um, yeah, we did six miles and we thought the trail was never ending. We were like, it was really long. the longest trail we've ever it been was, on. It was great though. Yeah, it was we, great. We did it when Booker was a baby. I know. We haven't been back on that trail, like the full trail in a while. It just takes a while. It's yeah. like a good two and a half hours, right? Oh, or good. two it was hours a, it was maybe? an hour and a half, two hours? Yeah. So you just gotta have time to do that. Okay. Too hot. Feels good that it's summer. Good summer energy, you know? Put on the same clothes I had on earlier. Me too. So I was like, I'm not thinking of another outfit right now. No, we didn't want to shower. We're gonna shower when we get home. When we get home. We're just too tired, too, too tired, too hungry. But and we, then... we felt we didn't have, we sold it earlier, we don't have groceries. We're like, let's go get something easy. We want something kind of healthy, but like so yummy. So we might do barbecue and get like salads and stuff. We're ended, ending up at barbecue. Um, you guys know we are, well, usually we're Martin's people's people's <laughs> Martin's people but we're going to Edley's today Edley's I feel like Ellie's and Martin's I have to say I think they're tied 50 50 yeah. for barbecue in Nashville it just depends on what mood you're in like if you want a burger go to Martin's you want wings go to Martin's if you want ribs and brisket go to Edley's just yeah. different specialties I think and they both have good salad like different salads different styles yeah totally they both have good salads but di di different lettuces all that stuff so we've been watching inventing anna one of julia's yeah. sister's bridesmaids was a writer on the show yes and we're enjoying it it's like fun and light and kind of like cheeky i mean obviously there's some serious things in there but like not really it's like more of like a i would say it's almost like a yeah it's just like a fun show you know it gives me vibes of something i don't know exactly what it is really but there's a little bit of like the cheesiness to it. Yeah, it's, it's definitely like kind of cheesy, which it. makes it like easy to watch because yeah. you're not getting like so invested in like the heavy drama or anything. I like light shows like that, even though I'm like kind of like a more of a serious person and I like to talk about deep things, but when it comes to my TV, I want it like kind of light. Totally. <laughs> I don't know though, I do like like shows like The Wilds and stuff. I have to finish that. Did you finish? I have one episode too? left. Okay, I need to get on that. We watched him on the planes in our travels. Yeah. I feel like we're very barbecue close, actually. We are. Me especially. I mean, come with This is like a summery, outdoor barbecue. Come on, barbecuing it up. Right. Okay, we got the goods. First, get sandwiches, a salad, some sides. We got a seat outside, right on 12 South. It's really cute. So you can like keep watch, enjoy the weather. It's like quintessential mm -hmm. summer, it's so nice. I really like their grits casserole here. It's really good. It's really salty. Cheers. Mm. So good. This is very like summer in Nashville. Barbecue. I feel fun. Okay, we're home and said Booker at dinner. Just took a bath, Hunter took a shower, and we washed the sheets today. So ugh, we're like wanted to get in bed so badly. I actually just um, door dashed a hot fudge Sunday from Baskin Robbins because I'm on my period and I'm like, <laughs> I've been craving like M&Ms and like fudge and I'm not even like a sugar person really, but I want it so badly. So just door dashed one of those. It'll be here in 20 minutes. I feel like it's so cozy being home. I'm so happy. Like, 
it just feels so summery like walking around at night it's warm like there's something about the air when it's summer it's like the sunset hits different it's like quiet um not like quiet but like people are outside but it's just like very still and um i don't know it's just like so like feel good it's just something about the weather that makes me feel really happy and calm and I just like it so um I'm in a good mood and we've got fresh bedding and what could be better than that pretty much nothing so let's go put it on let's see if we can get Hunter's playing the guitar so let's see if we can get him in here watch out baby I close that I I'm a little helper here <laughs> he follows me literally everywhere come on book hey hon will y'all me put the bedding on Booker, uh-uh. You got a Sunday? Yeah. Does it come with like the hot chocolate on it? Yeah, I got hot fudge on it. So will the ice cream get melted when it come, when it gets here? You know, I didn't think about that. Maybe they'll put it on the side. That'd be nice. I bet we could melted it. Fudge. The fudge? I'm saying like I know. <laughs> I also got um, M and M's on it because you know I've been craving M and M's. Mm -hmm. My number one, if I get ice cream, hot fudge is my my way. Yeah. But I actually don't even know where I would go to get that. I don't feel like people do hot fudge Sundays anymore. Well, Baskin Robbins has really good hot fudge. Yeah. They have like that sticky hot fudge, you know? Yeah. Because like they don't do it, the, not everybody like knows the deal with the hot fudge. Like, I have to say, to I have to say, I'm ready to start cooking. Yeah, for sure. Like I'm a little like restaurant. Tid out. Restauranted out. I am too. Like, nothing hits to me. Nothing hits. I think we could at least make, like, we should at least, like, focus on, like, a goal of, like, three, four dinners per week. I'm really into salads right now. I love label with salmon. Yeah. That's going to be on the meal this week. Totally. The menu. So easy, too. Label so with salmon. Good. What else can we do this week? I want to recreate that salad that we had. Um, I, I, oh, I really want to nail a Niçois salad after we went to Paris. I was really inspired by that. I want to nail a bowl. A bowl. Okay. What kind? Like, with rice and some beans and some, like... Like a Mexican bowl? Some greens. Um, or, like, quinoa or whatever. Like, almost like the, um... What was the place, thing at Snack Kitchen I get? Like, the bison bowl? Bison quinoa bowl? Yeah. Like, something like that. It has okay. like red or pinto beans in it. Why don't you do it. like a quinoa bowl vibe? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe that or rice. Mm-hmm. But with some green still. Almost like a like radish style bowl. Like healthy, fresh, yum. Totally. Like just a little bit of rice, a little bit of beans. Lettuce. Some greens, maybe like a protein. Totally. Something like that. Um, It's fun to make. It's also fun to make casseroles. Yeah, super easy. Super easy. It lasts like all week well, for lunches and stuff. Yeah. I feel like a casserole or something like that is good to have for lunches. Otherwise, we're just going to keep spending a ton of money on radish every day for lunch. Totally. You know? I Yeah, I know. And Or you know what I really like is that salad we had in California or the one today. Oh, oh it was the one in California. Which one are you talking about? In Carmel. But Carmel Bell. Like, it was really simple, but it was just like lettuce with like carrots, radish... Shredded chicken, mm -hmm. lemon, olive oil, and Parmesan cheese. So. I want to get good at making Greek salads, too. That's yeah, we pretty need, simple to, we need to nail a Greek salad. The ingredients in a Greek salad are all pretty flavorful ingredients. I know. That it's simple. Like, the, you can make it yummy easily. Totally. You know? So but. good. Ooh, the Sunday's here. Okay, I'm coming. Be right back. Oh. 
<sighs> I'm checking my crypto. Oh. Oh, I'm so tired. They didn't put the hot fudge on it. They didn't even put it on the side. Really? Yeah. What the hell, Baskin Robbins? What is that all about? Okay, well, they put the M&M, so they got that right. Oh. Well, they must have known it would melt it, but... What do you can't do me like that. The m ms are crunchy because it's cold. <laughs> this is my video right now. <laughs> is it good? Mm-hmm. Actually, pretty good. I know. It's kind of good. It's like fluffy. Hmm. Want another bite? Okay, well, we're going to start our show, and I'm going to finish my Sunday, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll have more energy tomorrow after our workout. Yeah, we're catching up from our trip, so we're a little... Bull. A little sleepy. But yeah, we got some fun things tomorrow. Furniture delivery. We got a lot of work tomorrow though too. Mm-hmm. Well good things. I'm I'm ready to be back in mm -hmm. the swing of things. Me too. See you tomorrow guys. Bye. Alright folks. We got some furniture delivery coming today. We don't exactly have the spots yet, but we're trying to make room for things right now. We have couch coming here. We have two Jenny Kane couches coming. And then two six penny couches coming, so we need to make some room. It doesn't really make sense. We're gonna figure it out because yeah. we ordered the furniture like literally a year ago. Before we even had like any of this yeah. furniture, so now we'll rearrange like the living room or we'll rearrange some of the stuff in here. We got couches. Now we'll need to like, I mean, we have couches for like a lot. Every well, we have like <laughs> so many places we can put couches. Days. Yeah. Um. Weren't we thinking about putting a couch? Oh, we're gonna put that one, the RH one, up in the guest bedroom. That's perfect. Yeah, guest bedroom. Will that fit in that space? Or will that yeah. be too big in front of the closet door? I think it's gonna go on the other side, by the bookshelf. Oh, really? Yeah. Should we measure? We'll see. Oh, you wanna take that up there with them now? Well, yeah, I was gonna offer them some cash and like see if they'll okay, move well, let's it. Let's measure. Let's yeah, measure. let's do that. Eight feet. Eight feet? Okay. 38 inches. We're bringing it up here. It's kind of cute there. Alright. It's cute in here. Oh, it'll definitely fit here. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, so right here, right here. this would probably be good here. Don't you think? Yeah. Cause I like those chairs over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So we're gonna put that couch right there. I think that'll be perfect. Maybe even move that bookshelf. It'll probably look really cute next to the couch. We'll get a little table. Um. Okay. All right, people, next day, I don't know how much we showed yesterday, but our furniture, our couches got in yesterday. It was kind of like hectic. I know. We'll show them right when we get home. Yeah. But Is that like a tease? What? To not show it after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just got kind of busy yesterday and caught up with work, and the couches thing was kind of hectic. Um, we had our house is like a mess right now because there's so much furniture laying around. We'll have to get some guys to help me move some stuff. But anyways, we'll show you the couches when we get home. Yeah. Um, and it's, uh, we have so many ideas for the living room now. Yeah. Because we're, the couches change the whole dynamic. We're so pretty stoked. We, we don't have really a structure for how this is going to unfold or we unravel. Do not. <laughs> but we are really we'll excited. We'll take you along the journey. And yeah, the journey will be shown. Right now we're at 45. It's 12. Uh, in the afternoon, we missed the 8.30 this morning. We just had to sleep in a little bit mm -hmm. since we were tired from travel. We but, finished inventing Anna. It was great. Yeah, it was so good. Um, highly recommend. It actually, I liked the end of it. Like, it got like a little bit more meaningful. You know? Yeah. yeah. Like, it was like, yeah, anyways. It was good, it was light. But we're gonna go work out, and we'll see you after. I need this workout right now, like really bad for my mental. Let's do it.
well. It's so red, that was really hard. That was absolutely brutal. Brutal. Look how wet my shirt is. I mean, I'm not really gonna sweat all over this. Hold on, let me wipe this. Oh. I have it behind me. Rough, you guys. Four rounds. The four put me over the limit. Uh, but you have to say, never regret a workout. You can really change your day. I know. It's just like, I knew I needed that today. I just knew it. I noticed I was getting a callus on my finger where my ring is. Oh, yeah? So I don't know if I should wear my ring. Maybe I'll get a uh, Quelo or whatever it's called. One of those like um, silicon rings. Yeah. To wear in the gym. Mm. Speaking of rings, one of like the most popular comments on our Paris vlogs was about Julia's new engagement ring. And oh, it wasn't. It's just it wasn't I a new ring. It. She traveled with it. It's a, a zirconium. Yeah. I shouldn't want to bring my real one. Um, Cause like pickpocketers and stuff. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I was nervous about it. So you why. got that ring a, a while back ago for when we travel. Yeah, and like last year, uh, Europe, or when we did Greece, I didn't bring it either. I didn't bring my real one. I don't know why, for some reason, like on really far trips, like European trips, I just don't bring my ring. I don't know why. I'm yeah, just nervous about so it. just to clear the air there, we didn't get a ring. Um. Yeah, I feel like that was so, like, asked so much. Yeah. <sighs> All right. I'm okay. getting like a dry spot right here. I started getting it in California, yeah. and I thought it was like a cold sore coming up, but it's just like a dry patch. I have one as well. I don't know, I kind of feel like the weather in San Francisco is like, um, the climate is definitely different, or the, in California, it's like definitely dry. And here is like, it's yeah, it's much more humid. But do you get dry patches in dry climate or humid climate? You know, like... I think, like, the, the shift back and forth, like, confuses your skin and it's I almost feel like, like it's, Whoa. like, a hormone thing. I mean, it could be. I mean, we have literally just been buck wild the past month. So... So crooked. Like, lack of sleep and... There we go. All of the wine and... We normally don't drink as much as we probably have the past month, so that could be part of it. Um, yeah, it's probably different climates, all the travels, lack of sleep, yeah. alcohol, yeah, change in diet, change in routine, change in workouts. Totally. Oh man. All right, so currently our house is in disarray. We had a new couch delivered and we put it in here temporarily. We moved this out of the living room, we moved the bench out, this table out. And we got our new couches in. Bada boom, bada bing. And I thought I would temporarily try to assess these new couches and make the area look kind of cute. Hunter's working. Um, so yeah, I just went down or upstairs and grabbed our house is a little bit in disarray because we got the new couches in. And I'm gonna just try and see what I have to temporarily make this look, you know, cohesive. Um, the lighting's really We're so bad. excited for this couch, by the way. Yeah, we really love them. It really so, so changes exciting. the living room. This guy's going downstairs, so just ignore it. Um, I know we always say that. We're like, ignore it, but we don't have anyone to move the couches yeah, right now. That, there's our old couch over there. That's going upstairs in the guest room. Upstairs in the guest room. This is going downstairs. Going downstairs. That's going maybe in Julia's office. That's either going in my office or in our bedroom. We're not sure yet. But it like so, opened up our living room so much. It really did. And I think I have an idea to put a big circle table here. Like not big, but like taller and kind of like leave it more open. But we'll see. We'll play around with it. We thought I maybe think that we, could look really good, and that would make my table dream come true because I really wanted to do like a round like table, an entryway somewhere. table. Like, yeah. About that, but. I also think like two chairs, two ottomans, mm -hmm. like a pattern or something. Could be no, no, totally. Or two chairs would be more practical. Or maybe two ottomans under like a table, like That's side by what side. I was thinking. I pinned a picture on the show. I think because the space looks big right now or like yeah. open, but the second you put two chairs, it really closes everything off. So I thought maybe yeah. like circle table than our um, coffee table. I don't know. We're gonna play around with it, but if we did a circle table, I'd want something more solid, like a marble or stone or like I don't know, different style wood. 
but we'll see. We'll play around with so it. So it's kind of hard. We're just kind of playing with what is in like our house right now. So I just pulled out some things. I just ordered a few pillows on Etsy that I think are going to, you know, be really nice. But let's see here. And these couches are six penny, by the way. Yeah. Oh, they're by six penny, which we're so excited about. We've been really wanted something from them. The color is called oat. And I'll put the exact style of the sofa um, in the description box. But. The color's like something oat. I forget the name of it. Just oat. Okay. The only reason I know it's not just oat is I was looking at it yesterday. Like oat flower hair. It's like, yeah, oat something. This is also temporary. Oat flower. Oat flower. That's what I just said. Oat go. flower. So these were all the ones that we were choosing from, but we decided to go with this. It's like a um, nice, like lighter beige color. Nectarine's pretty too, but. I know, I feel like this would be good standalone, like a single, the nectarine. Yeah. Like, like one a, by itself, in like, like an, an accent piece, thing. yeah. Totally, but maybe a little bit much for, for two, our house, it, for the living room. Two in a living room, yeah. I think it's pretty though, I mean like, it is a nice color. I'll the 10 foot it. slope arm sectional couch. Yeah. But we'll have a link to it down below. Totally. Um, okay, so obviously this, only thing with this oat color is that our we don't have any color like this in our house so um none of our pillows or textiles really go with it so hence why i just got an etsy and ordered a couple of pillowcases and we're gonna have to probably do like a more custom situation but so i'm just like kind of using what i have from like other rooms right now but just to like kind of play around with it get an idea i really want to do some kind of like um patterned pillow situation I want to like mix a lot of different patterns and textures um I'm not like going for like the minimal you know simple thing anymore I notice like every time that I see pattern pillows and like ornate stuff I really like it so since the couches are solid I thought it would be really fun to like mix different patterns and stuff so this is um sorry this is like a random vintage thing that Hunter got but this is just to give you an idea of like, you know, something like that. You see like now that with the mix, like that looks right, you know, like the white didn't really go. So you see what I mean? Yeah, that's beautiful. I think it looks really nice. So, um, and that kind of like ties the colors in together. So point being is that I'm going to have to find, I mean, shoot, we should just make the color pieces out of this. Want to? Yeah. We good. should have it cut and then... Make two out of it? Well, you don't... Maybe. Oh, you, oh, yeah, you would do two fronts. We could, yeah, two fronts and back. It'd probably be, be, on the small, it'd be on the small one, probably. The smallest, yeah. Well, actually, I don't know. Probably. Um, so that looks really cute, you know, like that. And then... We do have this guy, which these little, these uh, couches are so big. Actually, here, put that there. And then we could do... Over here, maybe like the white with the stripe. Um, so that's going to be just like a little sample situation of what we're thinking. You know, make it fun, get some textures in here. Then I thought, let me move you. That looks pretty good if I do say so myself. Okay, I know this is a little backlit, so turn on the light. There we go, a little bit. Okay, so this was on our old white sofa and the blue looks really nice against that, but it's not really working now. So, um, oh look how cozy that looks on her. So, let's see, this wool blanket we got for our wedding, it's a really nice texture and some little um, pom poms on it. This is a good color. Yeah. Sorry, I, I oh, feel like I'm in the way. Should I move? No, you're good. So I'm gonna tuck it on halfway. And you can really use like any blanket that you have in your house for this. I mean, or you can just get like random fabric, like vintage fabric. They have a lot on Etsy. We have this blanket, yeah, since we've been married. So, gosh, seven years now. I've used it on so many different beds, and I've always kept it. It's like a Moroccan um, wool blanket. So I thought that would be nice and it kind of now connects the uh, 
tone of the pillows across the way and it's a little bit warmer it's like definitely more of like a yellow like almost like a yellow or cream undertone and it just adds a nice layer and texture against the linen um i also have this little vintage guy that i think i sourced on etsy as well and it's kind of like a warm brown mauve and i thought it could be cool to layer on top of this one so make like multiple layers all right so i'll kind of have to play with it but that's cute so what i like about this is that this layer underneath is really like thick and burly and almost like what's well, real like wool so it's super like wintry kind of feeling um and then with the contrast of like the really delicate kind of lace blanket over top i think the layers look really good and the tones in this top one kind of pull in the pillows across the way if you were like here in person you could see that from this view all the colors kind of connect which I kind of like and this blanket really matches the um the tone of the drapes and so it just kind of balances out the color scheme a little bit um obviously this isn't like final but just to have a little fun and make zhuzh it a little bit play around with the new couches it's just a fun time and you know you can always switch switch out your decor every damn day if you want if you just get ideas and you can change color schemes or freshen things up. Um, but I love doing a layer over the couch. It just thinks it makes it look really like cozy and lived in. And then um, you can always play around with pillows. So anyways, there she kind of is. Looks really good. And yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with that pattern pillow because that kind of ties the whole room together. So either that or I ordered a pattern pillow from Etsy. So we'll see if it works when it arrives. But it for now our friend jack is coming over tomorrow to help move some of these couches um i need a muscle bigger than julius to help me um we're gonna move this couch the one in her office and then these two and then we'll start the process of decorating our living room uh but that'll probably take place tomorrow and actually uh, when we were in california we became members at scribe scribe winery one of the wineries we went to and our bottles already got here pinot noir we got one magnum of the Pinot Noir. Some rosé. Beautiful. All right, we got the couches cleaned out, moved, and we got some work to do in here um, in terms of like moving some things around. But it's nice to have the furniture out of here now, all that extra stuff the other couches that we moved to the right places in the house so now we have this spot to work with and can begin to decorate it and position it how we want but hey Julie, how are you feeling about the rugs now i don't know it's like when you don't like start with a whole thing from the beginning then everything like doesn't match yeah you know? so it's like you kind of have to decide okay are you gonna go off of the rug are you gonna go off of and sorry, this is just here for now. Don't ignore this right here. Yeah, um, I don't know. It's just like we have to assess yeah. what we want to do. What do you think, Buck? What do you find? What do you think? Could you decorate the room? No? Okay. Do you want to start searching for a potential table for right here? Yeah, I mean. Ideally, ideally we put it like right here on this spot. Yeah. You just, yeah, wanna have enough, like, you just wanna have enough room for like the walkway. I don't want it to get too like dark and dingy. No, That's totally. That's what I'm worried about. Uh, so I think like you do, brown, I think we do a, no, no, gray. I think we do a lighter color. I don't know why I'm thinking either like marble or glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like yeah. maybe like a stone, but stone could pull gray again. No, we definitely need a different material. Definitely. So we'll, we'll play around, but we're super super happy with these couches yeah and how it turned out and it really like fits the scale of the living room and it really opens everything up as well i know i feel like it opened the living room up a ton it did and it's more inviting yeah i mean the other formation was really cool too it just depends you know it's fun to change it up and 
if you want to like re-inspire space and see how it feels differently with different formations, we'll see. I feel like we might hang out in here more. Not that we didn't. We hung out in the living room all the time, but... Um, but even like know. once these couches got here, we were so excited to just like we each can lay down and like watch TV. Yeah, we were like yeah. excited to watch a little bit of TV. And like we can hang out. all... They're just bigger and I feel like they're... More, more seating like, room. Height is better. I don't know. We got a lot of work to do in here, but we're excited the process has begun. Yes. I'm loving the li living room. I know I keep saying that, but like, you like it? I love I'm it. Not oh, I'm not stressed. I know it's gonna come together, but I'm liking the. It really opened it up. I swear, like it made it look. I'm stressed. It's like not where it needs to be. No, not at all. We have to like re. I know, I'm, but I'm. I'm just saying, like, yeah. I'm excited for where, like, the direction it's heading in. Yeah, I just. It's annoying when you're like wanting. In the to process, be, in you the want process. it to be completed. Totally, and you're like dissatisfied. But we, you got to have a little bit of motivation. The fact that that process has begun. Yes. Julia's pillowcases came in. Okay. So I went for bigger ones. So this is what I'm getting. From where? Oh, uh, yeah, that's better. See, it kind of is warmer. Yeah, for sure. Um, from Etsy. It's so dark in here right and now. And I know. It turns and white then on. I got that one as well just to try out. I wanted to be able to see which colors, but I'm kind of liking these guys. I feel like that's a nice color tone. Mm -hmm. so I like them. You said from Etsy? From Etsy, yeah. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna take out. These are too dark. They're like dingy ass with the tone of this. And these inserts are just from Amazon. And I think just one insert is fine. Cute. Oh, way better. I like it. Yeah, I want them all to be like mixed and then let's see, perfume like white. You can't see them. Oh, it looks so good. I like those patterns. Okay, I'll link the shop where I got them below. They have a lot this style. Um and now I want to go on and pick out even more because they're really cute and I could bring out some of like these colors. Ooh, I have a pink one upstairs that could look really good. Like some of these. They're nice. Best the day. You look cute. Thank you. I'm just trying this out. I don't know how it's gonna look. I like it. All right, that's it, you guys. All we right. shall see you in the next video. Bye. I don't like to rush things on no. I don't really move like that. So now me love your company. It's tomorrow may never.